Hey guys, welcome back to Cam's Corner. I'm your host, Camden Revere. Super excited for a tip that I'm gonna bring you today. I've had a lot of questions about this one. What we're gonna talk about is how to read the tambour and how to move for covering the tambour. Okay, so we're gonna focus specifically on singles today and that ball coming up the main wall, hitting or missing the tambour, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're first gonna move into our position. Now, when you are lined up in the middle, on the receiver's end, it's a little different than the service end. At the service end, we want you deep, covering chase two, chase three, ready for balls coming deep off the back wall. On the receiver's end, we actually want you a little bit further up the court because of the tambour, okay? Remember, when that ball comes up the line and it hits the tambour, it's coming across into the middle, all right? So what we wanna do is, and this is something that you can practice very easily, before a match, just roll a ball up the line and have it hit the tambour and see the angle that it comes out at. And whatever that angle is, that's pretty much where you want your middle position to be. That way, from here, you're ready to cover tambour no matter what, okay? So what we have today is we have this little model for you, which is a trajectory that the ball could come off of the tambour. Now it's a bit straighter than most tambours would be, but we're gonna use it for our example. So if I'm lined up in that line, as soon as your opponent makes contact and hits that ball up the line, our first move is to turn sideways and get that racket back. Because we now know that we're hitting a backhand and we have to prepare for that tambour, okay? Now we always assume the ball is gonna hit the tambour until it misses, and that's because it's our first option. If the ball misses the tambour and goes into the corner, we have time to go get it. But our primary focus at first is covering that tambour. All right, so they hit that ball, we turn sideways, we get that racket back, okay? I'm loaded up on my left leg, which means that I can now step into that ball. So if that ball were to come hit tambour and straighten out more, I'm ready to go. Ideally, I want it to come and have me step straight across back through the line of the ball and hit back through the line of the ball with my swing. But it also allows me to, if that ball goes deep, to now step backwards and take that ball deeper in my stance. Now, from this position, We've read tambour. As soon as that ball misses tambour, we've been ready to step in, right, for it to hit. As soon as it misses, now we have our momentum to run into that corner and cover that ball that's missed tambour. But it all starts with getting that turn and rack it back early and getting that weight ready to step into the ball, okay? One of the biggest no-nos that I see all the time is you back up. As soon as you back up, you've taken away your forward momentum. You're now leaning backwards. And it's not impossible to go from backwards to forwards, but it's a heck of a lot harder than when you're already loaded up, okay? So don't back up and let yourself fall away because then you're gonna open up on that shot because your weight's already falling out. And that's when we pull the ball into the net, into the roof, or even worse, out of court, okay? So to go through it again really quickly, that ball gets hit up the line, we turn sideways, we get that racket back, we're ready for that ball to go anywhere off the tambour. We're ready, ready, ready. As soon as it misses tambour, now we're in that corner, ready to get down there and get that ball. 